Erin Del Conte, Executive Editor with C Store Decisions Magazine, and I'm here to review another beverage product for you this week. So this week I'm here with Hairless Dog, and it is a non-alcoholic beer with 0.0% alcohol by volume. So we all know that at convenience stores right now, alcoholic beverage sales are booming. But what you might not know is that there's also a really growing sober curious movement. Um, you may have heard of dry January before, which has been a growing trend for the past nine years. And that's where uh, customers try not to drink alcoholic beverages for the whole month of January. So why would anybody do this? Uh, it's supposed to come with a number of health benefits, right? Abstaining from alcoholic beverages. So for example, uh, brighter skin and better sleep and a stronger immune system. Sign me up, you know, that sounds great. So enter the Hairless Dog, which is a non-alcoholic beer, because a lot of people, even if they are abstaining from alcohol, they might still really like the taste of beer, especially if they're normally a beer drinker, but they're just trying to cut back on their alcoholic beverage intake. Um, so we have some really great flavors here that we're gonna be taste testing today. We have the coffee stout, um, we have an IPA, we have a citra lager, and we have a black ale. Um, so we're gonna get to taste testing those in a minute. But let me tell you something else that is cool about this beverage. So most non-alcoholic beers uh, have about 0.5% alcohol by volume. You might not have known that, but that's because when they make a non-alcoholic beer, first they put the alcohol in and then they boil it off through the process. But Hairless Dog has a special process where they don't introduce alcohol at all. And that's how they're able to have 0.0% alcohol by volume. Um, and they're the only craft beer in this country that has 0.0% alcohol by volume. Um, so they just introduced this gift pack and they're coming out with more flavors in early 2021. Packages of beverages are a really big trend right now. Uh, you know, obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic and people are drinking out at bars less, especially if their area uh, has various lockdown rules or if they're practicing social distancing. So they're stocking up on beverages, whether they're alcoholic beverages or non-alcoholic beverages at their local convenience stores. And they're looking for those packs, those, those four packs, those 12 packs, those 18 packs. Uh, we increasingly hear from category managers that they're working to keep those packages of beverages in stock. And it also fits the trend of allowing, uh, you know, a variety pack with, because a lot of millennials, especially really want that taste experience and, and that ability to try different flavors within a pack uh, and see what they like. They really like experimenting with new flavors. And again, they're going to have even more new flavors out in early 2021. So watch for that. All right, enough about the product, let's give it a try. So the first thing I'll say is if you didn't tell me this was non-alcoholic beer, I would never guess this was non-alcoholic beer. So I think that makes it a great choice for dry January if you're looking something for something that makes you feel like you're still drinking regular beer uh, without the alcohol. Um, I also really like the tagline, party like there's a tomorrow, right here on the can. I think that's really clever. Um, as far as my favorite, it's really hard. I, I like them all, I would drink them all. Um, I am, it has a little bit of an unfair advantage because I love coffee stouts, one of my favorite drinks. So I've gotta put the coffee stout in number one. Um, and then I would put the Citra Lager as my second choice, followed by the Black Ale and then uh, the IPA. But they're all delicious. And, uh, you know, depending on your beer preference, if you're more of a stout person or an IPA person, uh, there is a beverage here for you. And I look forward to tasting their new flavors that are coming out again in early 2021 um, as well. So you can find out more about the hairless dog at the link in this post.